In this video, let's move into some depth of the concept of tangents and normals. We are going to know what are the equations of tangents and normals. So the topic is equation of tangents and normals. Now, we have already seen in the first video of tangents and normals something related to the curve. And we told if this curve is known as y is equal to fx and there is a tangent to this curve and the point is say r x1 comma y1 we also said there was suppose this is the tangent right and we also said that there is a normal or there was a normal and it was just perpendicular to the tangent so that is your normal and after all that we studied we concluded that yes my dy by dx is the slope of the tangent and since my tangent and normal are perpendicular to each other so minus 1 upon dy by dx is the slope of a normal right now simply when you know the slope definitely you can easily find out the equation so i can say that my slope of tangent slope of tangent is what it is nothing but dy by dx at point r right and if that is the case directly can write equation of tangent equation of tangent has to be what it has to be nothing but y minus y1 is equal to m into x minus x1 where m is the slope so that is dy by dx at r into x minus x1 that is the slope where x1 y1 are the coordinates of the point r next next when we have the knowledge about slope of tangent let's talk about normal so slope of normal since i say that my normal and tangent are at 90 degrees to each other or are perpendicular to each other so the condition of perpendicularity has to be satisfied so it is nothing but slope of normal which is minus 1 upon dy by dx at point r and then the equation of normal is not difficult so the equation of normal equation of normal is what it is given by y minus y1 is equal to m into x minus x1 so it is nothing but y minus y1 is equal to m into x minus x1 now what is your m the slope and what is the slope minus 1 upon dy by dx at the point r so that is important these two equations are there and now some conditions may be there like the line or the tangent is parallel to the x-axis then definitely the slope has to be zero so you have to put it like that or perpendicular to x-axis means parallel to y-axis and so on 